than the kitchen. What? Why are you ignoring me? Cause you mad at me? What? Whoa, whoa. No. That's why. This is why. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sinti with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch the season finale of The Bear, episode ten. Yeah, I know. Oh, I, I thought you were gonna introduce me. Although <laughs> we've come to the end. I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. You didn't want to hear the rest of my song, did you? No. Of the bear. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Thanks, Intel. Hey, if you need to catch up with some of the previous episodes, don't worry, there's a link in the description. So without any further ado, oh man, let's get started. Thanks, FX. Yes. Oh, thank you, finale. thank you, thank you. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, let's hold on three and four. We're up on the grapes and... Go, Mo. Pick up fish for four. Let's fire that third course, please. I want to push cannoli and see hands, please and thank you. Mm. And walking focaccia. Let's walk cannoli. Let's walk T-bone. Let's go into the 20. Loving the focus. Walk Focaccia. Oh, you have to be to be the head chef. Thank you, bar seats one and two. Can I get hands? She's running it. She's quarterbacking it. That is going to table 42. We have another focaccia for a three top. Bar seats three and four. She's got her chef coat on. And grapes yep. for four. It's only for four. And cannoli for four. It's going to table 21. Nice. She's flexing. expediting. She's expediting the food. Three T-bone and two bucatini, please. Love Guys, you. this is our first turn, okay? Got a full board tonight. We're looking mm. good. We're going to clear it, okay? Everybody feeling good? Still hear the a timer going off. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, it's all day, chef. Oh, uh, I see an order coming in for six. See Carmi back there getting it in? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. All right, guys. Let's hustle. Let's push all this food and... You got it, Sydney. So much. Can I get an all day? Okay. What's going on? You see these fucking six tops? We're just sitting in the meeting. I'll talk to him before school. Okay. What happened? I did. I didn't hear. Chef. Because I keep hearing that alarm going off again. No smudges. Thank you. Okay. Got an order coming in. No smudges. Remember the smudges on the plate? Yes. From the restaurant. The bear. Oh wow. Oh snap. Okay. Well, the chaos of the kitchen didn't seem as chaotic as it could have been. It seemed like more organized. That, yeah. A little bit, but it depends on what the, what's happening in the front of the house, though. How's everything, oh, guys? Oh, Jimmy. Everything is fantastic, buddy. Yeah. I love that his friends and family that that's doing it. sharp, young man. Yes, well, yeah. he does. Yeah. Yes, he does look sharp. Oh, that was very sweet. So much for yeah, I'll see you soon, guys. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some Easter eggs regarding the guests. So if you see somebody that's a part of the crowd, of course, you know, let us know in the comments. It's okay if you spoil it now. Oh, there are Easter eggs in there? I'm sure there are. Oh, that's a, the guy's brother. Bax's brother? Mm-hmm. Bear Bear. How was everything, oh. guys? Oh. Listen, this is pretty great. Who's she with? We're so glad you guys are here. Probably a girlfriend. Yeah, girlfriend. Yeah. Her and I, we, uh, we grew up together. That is a fact. He's uh, Carmi's cousin. I am indeed. Oh. His cousin, yes. Mm -hmm. You know he loves you very much. Oh. I love them very much too. I'm just don't tell them. <laughs> they're cousins. <laughs> or they're something. They're very close. Yeah. <laughs> they grew up together. Mm -hmm. Hey. What do you think? Posh is there. Sid's father. Oh, when he's there by himself, he's got a date. Oh, he's no, got a friend. Just a friend. Well, you never know. Sid, tickets, please. Yes, sir. Thank you, chef. Okay, when they come oh, but they have their or when they come out, he asked just her out put thing. Them remember? Ah, so that's what yes, you should do. Yeah. So you can't look, be awkward right. when you're doing nah. the situation. I just want to say something. Look, he's been... he's trying to apologize. We in game mode. Yeah. Do that after. Yeah, you gotta focus, homie. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yep. Run a little fork, chef. I need to know who Josh is. Behind. He must be Behind. the other uh, yeah, the other yeah, chef they hired. hired. New hire. Yeah. And leave the organized chaos. Well, he's got the yeah, he's got Sweetie, the note about I the forks. Give me the odds. The odds of what? Odds she shows. 
Yeah, the mom still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Matt, I was just going to say how, like, you know, special and cool and great this place is. Right. And how I'm, like, the most proud of you ever. Aww. I just don't want you to get your expectations. Too oh, my high. gosh. <sighs> wow. That's not really in a, a congratulations. Their mom is very volatile. Got it. You know, no, she's just trying this to make sure she's in a safe space while I'm talking about it. No, I thought he was talking about the restaurant. Yeah. Oh. Too slow. I don't know, he's talking about, no, what's the percentage of mom coming? That's yeah, but before about. that. Remember, you promised me we wouldn't run out of forks? Yeah. Guess what the fuck just happened? She ran out of forks. Cousin, uh, Claire's on 31. Okay. Okay. We'll say hi. Yeah, eventually. Yep. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. Let's go. No, Yo, it doesn't. I want to have this. I'm gonna fucking shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Thank I'm you. Get there when I can get there. I'm just saying. <laughs> just. No, Chef Sydney, I need it all day. Richie, it's not that. You're not when you're back there. Front of the house is a little different <laughs> uh, than the kitchen. Sydney, what? what? Why are you ignoring me? Cause you're mad at me? What? Oh, oh, oh. No. That's why. This is why. Thanks. <laughs> Go, please. Moving bread up to third can only move six. Third chef. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was just. Just keep going. <laughs> That's why. Start moving this bread, please. Picacha. Mm. Hands, hands, hands. Hands, hands coming for you. Great. Uh, that'll go to 21. Expediting is no joke. That's mm. why I wondered who was going to be in charge of that. Oof. I love that transition <laughs> that they do from the kitchen to the thing. I love it. It's so <laughs> awesome. It makes you feel like in a whole different world. Oh, I've been gone a lot. Honey, this is easier. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you're easier. Easier how? When you're not because you love this. <laughs> At home like, all the you're time. Not as... <laughs> <laughs> again. Okay, that's very sweet of you. I wonder what this awesome. note is. Oh, the toilet. She said. Mm, gotta put out these fires. Hi, please get four T bones fired. Tina, can you get on that for Ooh, me? I am such yes, frustration right now. I'm frustrated for her. Here, chef. Just Hi. Right, there chef. we go. Check on my day. See, that's us. That's friends and family is a lot. About you, chef. Toilet is false. Yes, yeah, chef. Hand me chef. Oh, he was supposed to be checking on the dad, but now he's handling the toilet. <laughs> Stop that bad boy up. Wow. That means the food is good, though, right? That's <laughs> right. <laughs> In and out. Roughage. Roughage. Okay. Well, okay. No, mom. Why are you fucking wet? Oh, uh, because the toilet exploded. Oh, <laughs> look at his face. I'm sure, it's in the locker. <laughs> he looked like he got the thirty-yard stare or whatever oh, it's yeah, called when you're out in the, war. Yeah, yeah. You just got the. It's a, must be a Who food those critic. The oh no, end. he's listening. They said, "Why are you so effing slow?" Yeah. So it's either that or it's a critic. One of the two. I say, send it back and cook it again, please and thank you. That's right, yeah. homie. Mm. Those are seven fishes. They're cold. Oh. These, are, oh. these are fucking dead. Are these for the guy? Is the guy by the fucking what? Window? The fucking window is for the guy? Yeah, why the fucking windows? Yeah. yeah. That's that's the one he had that he was saying, why are you taking so long? Did did the fire descend? They've been sitting here for fucking yeah. ever. Why mm. fire? Watch it, dude. That's how it goes in there in this high stress, though. <laughs> way down. Got to take it way out. I think about Gordon Ramsay. Mm. And that's sorry. Mm. Yep. Mm, no. I'm sorry to piss got cold. I was doing a lot. No excuse. Hey. Yeah. 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 You good? Okay. All right. Okay. Just get on the same page. Let us keep up the pace. Please yeah, and thank you. We can't let this stuff go dead, all right? They just have to realize the type Great. of stress that it is. And yeah. It's, it's a pressure cooker. Uh-oh. What happened? Carmi fell oh, out. Yeah. Carmi. Oh, yeah. oh he, didn't, uh -huh. I he didn't fix see. it. Um, okay. Uh is he locked in there? Carm, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Carm, can you hear me? Yeah, oh, yeah. no. I have to hear you. <laughs> Right. Oh, what's crazy is this is his uh, fault because he was supposed right. to have been there. Yeah, that of course fix. he was. And remember why he didn't call. Yeah. He was going to call and Claire was calling him at the same time. And then he put the phone down. Are we stuck in the wall? We're stuck in the wall. Remember? Yes. Your chef. Mm. So what are we going to do? Keep Work going. It. Keep going. Yeah, you have to. It's on you. Right. You got to. It's on you, Sid. Let's just hold 
hold the word? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just hold the word, okay? Hold it. She gotta, she gotta think. Oh, she's gotta regroup. Yeah, she yeah. gotta think. Come she's on, gotta girl. get in a different mode. You got this. Woo, look at the tickets. Uh, Tina, can, can you run Expo for me? I got two stations. Yeah, right. Uh, she's got two stations. He can run. Remember? Yeah, he can yeah. remember. Oh, come remember? on, Richie. Yeah. The pen, the, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Richie. He's got it. Come on, baby. He does. He does have it. Be clutch. Yeah. 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 He's got it. You hear the timer still? Yeah. yeah. All right, look, y'all, Richie didn't punch. He was up. like. Because he knows. He's like, he, wanted, right. he wanted that job. At the, oh. Let's hustle. Let's listen to the sound of my voice and the yeah. sound of Richie's. That's right. We're going to do this, yeah? Yes. He Come knows on. how to do it. He saw it. He's, you got this, Richie. You got this, Richie. Yeah, he's got the organization. He knows what he's doing. He's about to kill it. You have five minutes to do this thing. We're fucked. All right. All right. Okay. Five minutes. Yeah, he's got his timer. Let's yes, go. Let's go. Yes. Got your shit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tia, why don't you help me set plates, please? Richie, sure. Thank you. Richie. Yeah, Nate, you just got to focus. Got to have, yeah, get that intense focus. Oh, that's a flat He's in line. Zone. That's a flat line. Drive. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> you hear the music change? You hear the music change? Yeah. Okay, we're going to walk that first. I feel like I'm playing guitar here. <laughs> Let's uh, go. I'm so guys. proud of this dude right now. <laughs> How about Sydney? Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. And we're walking to continue That's beautiful. Yeah, you got to cool off anyways, man. Like, you literally need to cool off a little bit. Well, I don't know if it's a, it's a walk-in. Is it a walk-in yeah. fridge? Oh, okay. Fridge. Call Tim. Yeah. yeah. Not now. Please. And I feel that, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we got to go. Yeah. You know, pour water, pour wine, read minds, just check in. Yeah. Yes, you, yes can, you can, man. You can't do this, but, you know. Here we are. New world order, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Be, you can do it. Don't be scared. Don't be. Thank you, man. Jeff. Yes. You got it, homie. You got this. Jesus. Well, he's stressed because he doesn't know that they're killing it. In a good way. You know what yeah. I mean. Got that? Okay. Hands, please. Table 14. So yeah, expediting is 12, no 12, joke. 12, Takes a whole other level. Oh, my dad. Okay, pick up lettuces for six, three. Yeah. Marcus, we're going to 86 and we'll start. Emmanuel doesn't do cherry share. Thank you. Oh, you okay. see? Yeah. You see? He's like, yeah, yeah, you, here's yeah. The, yeah. Here's the forks. Yeah. <laughs> forks are here. <laughs> Who's going to be on forks? Menu's down. So we are full board, okay? We need to fucking drill, guys. Who's ready to fucking party right now? Yes. <laughs> Back, just fucking go. It's making We're all gonna me be smoking hungry. cigarettes too. <laughs> He's about to ha pass out. So, yeah, uh, Connor, let's see, he knows how to, how to check. code these things. Just keep going, guys. We are almost out of the woods. Let's just Come keep on. fucking just going. Just keep pushing. Oh, I love how they keep showing Coach K. I keep saying I'm going to buy that book. I'm going to buy that book this weekend. You're terrible at this. You're no good. Oh, that's who that is. The old chef that he used to work for. That's who was sitting in the corner. Yeah. Begging for his failure. Yep. But you ain't gonna give it to him. Nope. Because you you built the right team. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want you to tell them I was out. Oh. It'll be so fun. Karm is killing it. Karm is... I, I just um, I, I just don't. I, uh... I just... You'd be so proud of it. Oh, my gosh. What do you mean you can't take it? Because of Michael. I love them so much. Might mm. be because of Michael. Oh. 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 I have to say I'm sorry. Oh. So, so please, just, please, just go me. And just tell me it's okay. Oh, my. Don't. I don't oh, deserve my gosh. To see oh. how good this is. Oh. oh. I want them to have this good thing. That's heartbreaking. I don't want to hurt it. No, you're not going to oh hurt it. Oh, my gosh. I promise. Plus, we got to get all the dinners in before the baby, so. Who's baby? Oh. She doesn't. Didn't. No. Oh. She. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. I she. That's oh. wonderful. Oh. That's wonderful, mm. Pete. 
I'm, she's taking it like a champ. No, she's not. She's hurt. Oh, Donna, yeah. I, she's definitely I, I, not coming I, I, I don't now. know what to do. Could you, could you help me? Oh, she's hurt. She's hurt. Oh, my gosh. I will, I, I will talk to them. I will. I'm just, I need you to say it's okay. Donna, don't. I need you to say it's okay. Please. Mm. So tragic. Mm. No turn, no turn on red, no turn, nothing but red lights. You see all that? Mm. All of it. And it's the just, train. Yeah. There goes the train. It's like passing in the night. The train mm. passing in the night. Ooh, how do you say that? How do you say okay, that? Okay, walk 22. You hear the heartbeat? Walk 51. Mm. T, where's my T-bone for six? Walking, chef. Beautiful. Now everything feels far away. Walking, chef. No, Mark is fine. The sound, that the echoey, yeah, airy okay, kind of sound. Fuck you. <laughs> Five minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Richie got him out of the woods, dude. Dude, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Dog, is, is He's that really smoking oh, crack Barely. now. Dude, I'm so sorry. That's that guy. It helps you work. Wild. Yeah, remember they said they couldn't find Josh or whatever? Yes. Hey, you okay? Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm not. It's so great. Wait till he tells her that he told her about the baby. That, she, that he told, yeah. Dog, no, 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 I, I think I gotta fire you. What? Yeah. There ain't no fake. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? I mean, I, I think so. Let me check. Yeah, no, check you right gotta there. fire. Hey, you are being so fucking weird, man. Did he really just say he was being weird? Don't people do that when they are they think they can justify and make yeah, excuses for that? that's true. Okay. <laughs> Blame everybody else. Yeah, that's so unfair that he got to carry that. It's extremely unfair. That's a lot of people, a lot of history. Oh. Uh, it's just a lot. Oh, he's not going to tell her. Would you? Well, we can talk about that later. Yeah, I would talk after the the... You know, things have been weird between us today. Oh, my gosh. I'm just saying I think I found something that'll make it better. Okay, what is that? Oh, Josh. Smoking crack and alley. That's the appropriate response for that. <laughs> the, the, huh? Wild. That's what I said. He said it makes him kick so much ass. <laughs> that just can't be. Those carrots earlier. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? He said he, said he saw him cutting those oh, carrots earlier. earlier. And she said, huh. Oh, yeah. Jeffrey, you okay? <laughs> Cause we're good. We're doing really good. <laughs> Why did she call him? I still don't Cause it sounds like Chef, and it was Jeff, and then then it's just Jeffrey. Uh, last week, what did you do to yourself, honey? I told him I have to fire him, but I need to check with you. No, no, you can fire him. <laughs> yeah, you should Imme <laughs> and immediately. Yeah, I would have locked the door. I yeah. wouldn't have let him come in. Was he trying to fucking kill me? <laughs> It's something so special that only we know what chocolate it is. Banana. The chocolate covered banana. Remember that was the thing he told that story. Yeah. You uh, tell Mister <laughs> Jeremovich thank you for me. Oh, y'all getting me? Mm. Oh, no, you saw him kind of half choke up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he is choked up. Yeah, He's extremely choked. So is the wife. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't say that. Was, that. Well, he oh doesn't God. know. That's incredible. She yeah. doesn't know what's so, happening. Congrats. I mean, thank you. He definitely it's messed a good up. Time to Go back and see him? No. Mm. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love him and his brother. It's not gonna happen again. Look where they are. No, that is so silly, baby. Yeah, man, you just messed up. That's all. You didn't fail. Oh, job of God is ass. Yeah. He's in there so long. Oh, I'm so <laughs> <laughs> What? You said Tony Pope. Is that a paper? It's out of paper. That, that, isn't it? That's exactly what I'm I talking about. Shut so. the fuck up. What's going on? But I think they're done with service. He's in the, he's in the walk in, but it, like the door handle came off. Yeah, I think they're done with service. Well, maybe, so I don't maybe know I'm why just not built for this. I don't know. I think it's out of paper. Maybe that just is. Mm, I don't know. He's stuck in the walk in? Yeah. 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 If it's a walk in, it's a freezer. Just yeah. go out, check the park. Can you please actually get some air? What are they yeah, worried about him like sec. suffocating? I would be worried about I mean, him freezing. There's a lot of air in there. Oh, goodness. Kelly. Theodore Fack. I like that barrette. Seriously, it's nice. <laughs> barrette. from France. A barrette. Yeah, cool. proud of him tonight. Seriously. <laughs> like, what is he doing? What is <laughs> I wasn't here. Right? What the fuck was I thinking? Yeah, he's in the freezer. 
I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking a psycho. That's why. That's why I'm good at what I do. That's how <gasps> I am Claire's there. I'm the best because I didn't have Claire's any there. of this fucking bullshit. Claire's there listening to this. And I could concentrate oh and I had a routine and, and I had fucking cell reception. Yep, this is exactly what's happening. Claire is mm. listening to all of this conversation. I don't need to provide amusement or enjoyment. I don't need to receive any amusement or enjoyment. I'm completely fine with that. The curse of brilliance and genius. The amount of good is worth how terrible this feels. Mm. Mm. It's just a complete waste of fucking time. Is he going to change his mind once he sees how everything succeeded? Well, that we can. There's yep, Claire. Yes, sir. Yep. Claire. Claire. Mm. Yep, I knew. Mm. Claire. Claire. Mm. Claire. I love how, like he might as well be in a different world. Claire. Mm. Yeah, the hits keep coming for you, man. Goodness. Hey, What's wrong? Don't be in the kitchen with runny nose now. Man, Carmi and his mama are like two peas in a pod. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she is. You asshole, what did you say to that fucking girl? Richie. Richie, what? What the fuck did you say? Half the clock? Shut the fuck up and get me the fuck out of here, please. Oh, yeah, I'll get you the fuck out of there, Dharma. The fuck did you just say? Oh. Yeah. I... Yeah. What the fuck did you just say? They're one and the same. Richie, what the fuck did you say? I don't think they are. They are. Hmm. That's why you said it. Watch, I'll see you in my fucking you pit. Fucking yeah, let me take out of here. You don't have shit. Fuck you don't you. have shit. Fuck Where were you when we fucking put you in the ground? I'm going to you selfish piece of shit. Dang. I'm obsessed with my fuck damn you. That's what you are. Dang. Yeah. Fucking love. See the, the tattoo again? I fucking love you. You fucking yeah, need me. You need me. Fuck you. you fucking need me. You motherfucker. I think they're going to open the door. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were going to like, does he have reception? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, could you have called him <laughs> <in> yourself? <laughs> Sent a text or something? Hey, Carm. Um, I know I'm going to see you in a little bit, but... Uh, That's the Claire message. I don't know. I just, I had this, like, um, to tell you that I've, um, I've always had this, like, massive crush on you. And I think <laughs> you're, um, so special. And, um, so wonderful and i uh i'm just so excited for you and so thrilled for you and um mm. i know it can be hard to like find a second to feel good about what you're doing right in the middle of when you're doing it but uh mm. i just hope you know that i'm i'm so proud of you Thank you, would mm -hmm. be so pretty. Uh, just, um, I, I really love you. I would use them cell bars to call Tony or Terry or whatever his name is. And then listen to the message. Wait, can you get out of here? It's cold. <laughs> mm. It's cold, cold, homie. I'm freezing. I'm shaking. Cold is sobering him up, I bet, though. Tempering that, that anger. I don't know. He cold, cold. I think it's interesting that they showed his Sioux tattoo. The Sioux chef is not a head chef, so I'm curious. I really do think he's about to leave. That's another sign. Yeah. Baby, are you okay? Oh, God. Hey, oh, sorry. So, uh, yeah, I'm good. Sorry. You're not supposed to. Uh. You were busy and I was trying not to bother you. Come on, no. You don't want to, want to see the Fine. chef throwing up in the trash can in the alley. You think it was just the release of the stress? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Baby. You did it. It's the thing. Yeah. It's the thing for you. Mm -hmm. Oh! Look at him. He's probably like, I did that. Yeah. I 
It's got to yeah. be. It's got to be a top five yeah. proud moment. Yeah, for him. he's probably like, I am great. Yeah. Mm. Didn't think Remember, he dropped his phone. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Oh his mom. no. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That part. I'll see you. Yeah. House. Oh. Oh, I love you, Chef. I'm sure this song has meaning, but I don't know the song. Yeah, I mean, we, we sorry. I've, I have been whiffing on the song yeah, lately, so I, was like, I, don't know I, I know there's a significance. Yeah, I just don't know it. You did it, Sydney. Yes, you did. And your dad is proud. Yeah. Be proud of yourself. You did that. I had a panic moment because I saw the, I heard, we heard the print machine for the tickets. Yeah. And I was like, our order's still coming and the thing is done? Well, I knew service was over. Ooh. I knew service was over because how, you know, uh, Fack was talking to Claire and her friend. Yeah. And I knew service was over. So I was like, well, it's not orders. I don't know what yeah. that is. So All it right. was just a, a reaction she was having. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All right. Oh, uh, goodness. Wow. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out with us uh, for this entire season. Episode 10 did not disappoint. It, it, you know, IMDb, I think it was ranked as a 9.5 out of 10 with over 3,000 votes. You know, that's a phenomenal, insane number to get on IMDb. Uh, and I think it did live up to the hype. It surprisingly didn't have all the closure that I wanted, which is a good thing in, if they are going to continue the franchise. You have a little something to kind of work with in order to keep it moving. And if by some chance that they don't, and this is the, the full ball end of the entire series, it gives you some something thought provoking to kind of like for you to kind of like continue conversations, kind of like how we're doing right now. How'd you feel? Well, yeah, for me, you know, I was thinking that because I was like, you know, I like things tied up yeah. in a bow. So some things I felt like were really wonderfully tied up and mm -hmm. then other things even though they were kind of left open to interpretation, mm -hmm. I still feel like they were kind of tied up. Mm -hmm. Because when you were talking about Marcus's mom's nurse calling, and yeah. I didn't even get that at first. Yeah. Like that kind of thing, I feel like we have the open to interpretation that that's probably what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think I think it's important that that's a part of this particular story, mm -hmm. because no matter what happens, life still goes on. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Whatever the good or the bad or the challenging parts of life, you know, you still have to adjust for it. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be something that he's going to have to, oh yeah, you know, maneuver through. We yeah. can already tell, you know, he has a thing with attachments because there was a, a mini blow up with, uh, with him and Sid and him being confused into where they stand and if she was angry with him and stuff like that. So if there is another season and I would be interested to see how they address it, address Marcus's attachments. Because it does seem to be, or the things that he may be, I don't want to use the word obsessed because I don't think he's obsessing over her. Mm -mm. But the things that he loves, he has like a type of focus on it and he doesn't kind of like let it go. Like with the donut, he had that focus and no matter what was going on, he just couldn't let mm -hmm. it go. Mm -hmm. You know, the Carmi found a good way of, of what to do with that energy by mm -hmm. sending him overseas, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe we saw a little bit of that when, when Sid was trying to get work done mm -hmm. and he wanted to sit there and have this conversation to address this, the thing that he's focused on. And that was her in that moment. Yeah. So I'm wondering if they, if it would be interesting to see them, you know, breathe a little bit more life into that. Yeah. I, um, uh, Slightly disagree. Okay. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 perfect, yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah. I know. Perfect. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Um, I slightly disagree. I don't think it's an attachment thing. Okay. Um, I think he cares about her and just wants, you know, just wants to clear the air. Maybe he feels like she won't be able to focus because they have this awkwardness, you know. And he's probably like, well, let me just, you know, get this out so we can keep moving. Where she's like, let's move first and then we could address this. You know what I mean? Right. I didn't think it as a place of attachment. I just saw it as a, you know, let's. Yeah. So you know how they do this, right? Yeah. So some people can do this and then they can move on and talk about it later. But mm -hmm. he was just, maybe he's just trying to deal with it in the moment because, you know, maybe he thought it would impact the work that they were doing currently. All right, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Richie, right? That's yeah. all I can say. Richie. Oh, gosh. What, what, what he, are your thoughts about Richie? He absolutely steals, steals the show. He's probably my, he's probably my, my favorite character now that we're, now that mm. we're done. Now that mm. we're done with this. And to, because of the arc 
Oh, and, yeah, and the I growth guess. that he's done, yeah. and I we've seen such a huge 180. Mm -hmm. And in hindsight, in looking at it, it's one of those things, kind of like life. Like when you're in the middle of it, you mm -hmm. don't really recognize the magic that's happening. Yeah. Until you sometimes. look back, yeah. right? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. That's, like, that's how I feel with Richie. Yeah. As we're going through it with Richie, you know, there was like I think it was like episode two or three. I was like, they gotta let Richie go. Yeah, you I know? said it too. Yeah. <laughs> But now that we're here and now we're looking back at the path that he's taken, <laughs> he's absolutely stole the show. And for him to step up in the moment, you know, it's it, it, it was a Coach K moment, you know? I mean, we, that's been referenced a lot. It's kind of like your star player goes down and somebody has to step up. Take the reins. Somebody has to. And I like the moment that Sid has when she kind of like, she's like, everybody just stop working. Let me mm -hmm. just... Get my take thoughts together. Let me take a moment. Let me find some some calm in the storm so I can figure out what the next move is going to be. And 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 Richie was just like, I got this. Mm -hmm. Put the clock up five minutes, like a two minute drill. If you were playing football or whatever it was, or thirty seconds left on the clock if it's basketball. Five minutes and barring he round. He made it work, and he did it with absolute pure confidence. So much so that he even inspired somebody else. He, well, the thing is for me though, the thing is. You know, he didn't recognize that in the moment when he was learning all of that, remember, mm. initially. Right. And then uh, once he realized he was capable, he was like, oh, I can do this. I've seen it happen. I know how it works. Mm -hmm. I, I, and and he had the confidence on top of the knowledge, right. which I think was extremely important. And that's why Carmi sent him there. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that he could do that, it was beautiful to watch. I was like, I was rooting for him. Yeah. I almost shed a tear. I mean, I almost shed that in my like, seat. I was like, I'm going to mess yeah. up my stuff. He said, he, said, <laughs> he said, I'm ready to party. I was like, I'm ready to, let's party. We go, we go do this dance right here because I'm ready to roll with you. Yo, all I was that. ready. All yeah. Right. So to me, the big elephant in the room this episode uh, is between two people who I believe are very similar, and that is Carmi, and that is his mother Donna. I think Donna loves her children. I think Donna doesn't know how to express it. She even said that. Yeah. Yeah. And she thinks that she is going to be the detriment of them, which there could be some truth to that to that as well. So she's kind of like halfway in, halfway out as mm -hmm. being a mom. Mm -hmm. and, and we saw that when she came to visit. Mm -hmm. And I think that there was a, I personally think there was a parallel between Carmi and her because he has the kind of like the same thing. Like there's the moment, like Donna drove the car through the house. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not forget, Carmi had that moment when the oven broke down and caught on fire in season one and he was gonna let it burn. You know, that's they're, they're both very destructive they have destructive tendencies. I just think Donna acts on her destruction a lot more, whereas Carmi has the thoughts, but really hasn't necessarily acted, acted on them. And then you see him flip out in the freezer, just like she flipped out at, at Christmas dinner. Her realizing, I don't want to mess things up, so I'm gonna just stay away. And her and him admitting the same thing to Claire without her realizing that she was listening. He was like, I don't need, I don't need to be entertained or, or be entertained. Um, I, I, I equate that to love. You know, I don't need to be loved or be loved. That's that's how I see it. It's like, it's like a cry for love mm. and, and and to abandon all of that in order to pursue the thing. That's how I interpreted it. How about you? I agree with you with Donna because she said point blank. She was like, I don't know how to love them. I'm kind of proud of her in a way for not her realizing how destructive she could possibly be and not ruining the moment. I think that's very sad and I don't like to say that. Mm -hmm. Um, but had she come in, it could have been another scene like Christmas or yeah, yeah it was Christmas. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and I think that she loves them enough to kind of stay away, knowing how destructive she could be in that moment. Mm -hmm. I hope that she can call them at some point and not even necessarily uh, and, and show up at some point and do all that at some point, mm -hmm. knowing if, if she's in a space where she can do that. Yeah. And I don't think that Carmi is exactly like her. Okay. Obviously, with all of these yeah. questions, oh, yeah. you know, put, put them in the comments what you think. Oh, absolutely. This part of the yeah, because we, you know, we agree sometimes yeah. we don't. I mean, that's just the nature of perspective and, mm -hmm. and uh, watching the shows together. I think he realizes that if he wants to have this passion okay. for what it takes a certain level of focus and the balance that he's looking for, he may not know how to do that yet. And he's in the midst of it. You know what I mean? So maybe once uh, the, the, the restaurant is actually open, mm -hmm. And he can kind of figure out how to balance everything mm -hmm. and Sid can take more of the reins or whomever, or he can hire somebody else to kind of do that. Yeah. Then I think that he will allow himself that. Maybe, okay. I think that's interesting, maybe. Yeah. If my parallel mm -hmm. is true, mm -hmm. we see that his mother hasn't healed and found that way. I'm assuming the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but I think his grace, his saving grace, 
is Sid because when he did explode in the same manner that his mother exploded on mm -hmm. Christmas, Sid mm -hmm. was like, you need to fall back. Yeah, you got yeah. to bring that down. Yeah. You know, there was somebody who cares enough about him, his vision, his well-being to to make him disengage. Well, and he listens yeah. because they tried with their mom. Everybody tried with yeah. the mama, but yeah. she just... I think we and we I think I read this in the comments as well, but I, I believe this. Mm -hmm. I think she has other mental health issues besides just addiction. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, I, I mean agree with that. yeah, so I mean she has a whole other she has other things that she's dealing with, whereas mm -hmm. he may not have you know, we know he doesn't have addiction as far as to a substance. Right. So, you know, he doesn't have that. So there's other things that are keeping him on but, a different level than, but I than she is. I, th I think you're, I don't believe he has an addiction, but I do think he's obsessive. I don't think I th so. I think he obsesses over over the restaurant. I think that's why he's good. I don't think you can be excellent mm. at anything unless you obsess over that thing. Mm. Um, that's that's my that's just my personal belief. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what can kind of like maybe cloud his, his judgment or that's what's causing him. He's having this episode where things that allowed him to see outside of that that obsession you know the big one being claire mm. uh and then him trying to figure out if he could balance is that even like a possible thing mm -hmm. i think another incredible performance and i'm still a little puzzled uh and that is the relationship that natalie has with her significant other and him trying to talk to to donna outside mm. and then him she's like unloading all of this on this poor man yeah and he has to keep it in and not only keep mm. it in, he has to do it on a on a special day, you know. So so how did how did you feel about all that? It was just interesting watching the process. That it's very difficult to know. Oh, that's tough. Just say it like it is. That's a very tough situation for him to be in. Yes. Because he knows how much she wants their mom to be there. Yes. But at the same time, it's like, do I tell her this and break her heart because she wants her to be there, or do I just kind of make her think that she didn't show up but say, ask her to give her grace right. you know what i mean right so that all oh, and then he has to he's gonna have to tell her at some point that he told her about the baby yeah so you know i'm sure he's not ready to have that conversation no. yet so it's like a whole yeah so he's yeah. like let her have this moment yeah. she is happy and she's doing a great thing she yeah. just said you know well, i guess i'm working at the bear you know yeah. so she's excited about that so i'd be like you know w would you have said something no. how do you feel about i think he made i think he made the best call you do yeah i think that you know he's gonna he's gonna catch hell for that call and she's gonna be angry at him and he's gonna have to soak that up as well but if i love you and i see that this is your moment mm -hmm. i'm gonna protect you mm -hmm. and even if even if it's the expense of me catching the L later on, I I totally agree with his decision, but he's he's probably gonna catch hell for it. Do you think she'll that they'll ever find out though? Well, you know, if, yeah, yeah, he'll find out because uh, her Donna's gonna tell her like you know maybe not. I know about the baby. Oh, you're talking about the baby. Yeah, I thought well, you were talking then, about the fact that she was and, there. And then that she was there. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. That may yeah. be just their little secret. Yeah. You know? I feel for him, though, because even him crying and all that, because he knows, uh -huh. like, he's like, yo, this is this is a lot. Yeah. And I don't know why I'm the one that <laughs> has to hold this in, but I'm going to carry it for yeah. you on this day. Yeah, he had to carry the yeah. water. Yeah. You know, it's, I'm not um, mad at that. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's those are the things we do for the people that we love. Mm. Okay, I want to talk a little bit, just technically a little bit, regarding mm -hmm. the interesting thing, thing that I saw. Uh, and that is, like, in the very beginning of the episode, everything was, it looked like it was handheld, which means it, stuff was on the move. Just, there's a little bit of shakiness. We kind mm -hmm. of like, if you're the viewer, it's going to leave you a little bit, you know, un, unstable in, in how you're watching. Your, little, your footing is a little off. And it mm -hmm. was one shot, too, as they were, like, running around through here. How did you feel about that? Did you feel the tension? Uh, regarding like, because I know you, I know you're starting to notice the technical stuff a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I I did, but I think for me because I watch so many cooking shows, mm -hmm. like I'm used to the chaos in the kitchen and then the calm up front. Okay. So it didn't seem as, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, I knew they were tense, but I guess I'm used to the chaos in the yeah. kitchen because of the shows I watch and all yeah. that. Like if you, I mean, back in the day, Hell's Kitchen. I mean, that's just what it was. <laughs> like the, it was very intense. Right. Like it was like hell in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, and then the front of the house is supposed to be that calm, enjoyable, yeah. everybody's, you know, yeah. enjoying the moments type mm -hmm. of situation. So, 
I mean, it did create that atmosphere for me, but I think that being in a restaurant creates that atmosphere. But I am glad that they did use those different types of camera so that we could experience it in that way. They did some really cool things with the sound. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you probably won't be able to hear it on this uh, reaction. When they went from the kitchen, uh, into the dining mm -hmm. area, it was like like a kind of sound, kind of feeling like you knew yeah. that there, there, there was, was a change up yeah. there and the music yeah. changed and yeah. everything. I thought that was like really cool. It's like two two totally different worlds, uh, including the uh, including the different world that uh, Carmi was in when he was mm -hmm. locked in inside of the uh, uh, inside of the freezer and mm -hmm. the and the world that was outside where Donna was. Because if you looked back, all you saw was red lights. Yeah. All you saw was wrong turns, Train stop sounds. signs, a lot of things that kind of like to me. Put me in a space where like everything needs to kind of like pause for a second i don't know stop, stop. yeah mm -hmm. so um i thought that i thought that was pretty good what was i going to say there was this there was a moment that i didn't get a lot of resolution i remember so my only my only like really small gripe that i have regarding the season as a whole mm -hmm. i thought they were going to do more with abraham and i thought maybe uh, there would have yeah. been some other smaller thing yeah for the season finale because he kind of like took a sabbatical or whatever, you know, a walkabout so he could kind of figure it out for like four or five straight episodes. Yeah. There was one episode where he came in and I just and thought- And talked to Tina. Yeah, I yeah. just thought. And then I also kind of thought that there might've been one small thing with Tina. And especially like when Sydney didn't snap at Tina, but was telling her like, I need this kind of thing to get done. And Tina kind of resisted a little bit. And I was like, oh no, are we gonna possibly fall back into like mm -hmm. old ways? Mm -hmm. But the team came together yeah. you know, and made, and made it work. Yeah. Um, was there, it, it, obviously you can comment on yeah. that, but is there yeah. anything else that- I think I agree with you with the Abraham thing. Like I don't understand why they did that and introduced it if they weren't going to give us a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, I get like, you know, can't teach a dog new tricks or changes, you know, difficult for some and more difficult for others. Mm -hmm. So I thought there was going to be a little bit more with that too. And then we only saw him for like two seconds during yeah. the finale. So I'm like, okay, what is that? Yeah. And then with Tina and Sydney, you know, I think there's always going to be that, especially if you don't deal with it, like generationally, yes. a lot of times, you know, <laughs> you know where you're going. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, it's <laughs> more difficult for the younger people to give direction to older people. And, and for it, the older people yeah. to accept it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm saying. Initially, yeah. yeah, initially, that that can be very challenging. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that they kind of like, I feel like addressed it a little bit because mm -hmm. she was like, no, Carmi said, and she was like, I'm the one who's here right now and mm -hmm. I'm the one who's in charge. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that they didn't, that it wasn't a big thing and that she even, you know, did the, that Tina did yeah. that. Because she, yeah, she is sorry. I mean, she's like, yo, you know, but here's the thing though, being in high stress like that, mm -hmm. you are going to resort to who you are. At the, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you're, you're true you. We'll, we'll yeah. pick through from yeah, time to time. Yeah, it's going to be like, hey, what's going on over here? What's going on over here? Because <laughs> Tina was like, oh. Yeah, she was like, who, 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 who are you talking she to? Had yeah, yeah, she had the moment she had to like, let me get no, it together. This, this is their Wusa. This is their Wusa, right? Wusa, Wusa. Wusa. It's almost like, it almost reminds me of this. Like, yeah, yeah, no, it's the half the Wusa. But yeah, so yeah, then you're going to show your true colors yeah. in a moment of stress. So I'm, I'm glad that, that they did that. Uh, I did like the moment with Uncle Jimmy. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. And it's one of those things that you have to really have been paying attention in some of the previous episodes when he was telling the story mm -hmm. about about the chocolate banana. He was, and he was talking to Carmi. Yeah. 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 And then it, here we are full circle of just, you know, how far, you know, the this this restaurant is willing to go to cater to everybody's needs. And well, that was the thing I really appreciated. Experience. Yeah, that's the one thing I really appreciated that Richie took that from that restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like he really took it to heart, you know, about humanity and, and like making it about them and their happiness and make it in truly an experience, right? Because he even said he was talking about who had shellfish uh, allergies, which we, he also learned there, you know, because that's the, what the yellow means or whatever, what the orange means. Mm -hmm. You know, the dad's table was a special table that Claire was there. Why can't you go out and speak to her? This is going to make her, you know what I mean? I loved that he was very on board with that and apparently had even done maybe a little research on his own because he knew about the shellfish allergy and all this stuff. Yeah. But he, you know, but he's talking, he was like, you pay attention. And I thought the thing, like you said, with the uncle was just a chef's kiss. Yeah, it was. It was really good. See what good. I did there? It was really good. Pun intended. The next one is where where is Carmi's head? We saw him go through a whole range of emotions. And you know, I, I, what what is the, the all the different steps when you're dealing with something, you know? Five stages uh, the, of grief? Yeah, well, grief oh. or whatever, you know, if you even have like an addiction and you, I forgot all the different stages, like acceptance, denial, oh, yeah, yeah. grief, yeah. anger, yeah. all that other stuff. Yeah. I, I feel like we saw a lot of all of those stages in, in the moment. freezer, yeah, in, in in one moment. Where do, where do you think his head is at? You you had a um, 
that you had a concept of maybe he's done with everything. Are you still agreeing with I that? I really do. I think after he had her, listened to the message from mm -hmm. Claire and how that like tore him up inside, mm -hmm. that he, you know, th is risking throwing this away over the focus that needs to be had for to not fail the people that are depending on you at this restaurant. Mm -hmm. He's got to make some choices. And I think, you know, I, and I mentioned it, the fact that they showed his tattoo that says Sue, because mm -hmm. a, a sous chef is not the head chef. Right. They're the, you know, he was a sous chef when he was in New York or wherever he was um, at that restaurant. And that's a different level of, um, I mean, it's still intense, but right. you're not the head chef. Right. Um, so, you, so maybe he's not, maybe he's not the head person in his life. I think it's maybe a maybe, step back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I do. Th that's interesting. Yeah, that's I do. That's interesting. Because when they show the moments when he's losing control and they show the tattoo yeah. a lot with the knife yeah. going through the hand. That's clear. And yeah. Yep. So, yeah, they, they definitely do some interesting things with mm -hmm. the shot selection regarding mm -hmm. his tattoos yep. and, and what he may be yep. thinking underneath. I don't know why I know that, though. Maybe something about tattoos or... <laughs> It's out of frame, yeah, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other piece regarding everything being tied up in the end, and that is Sydney. Like, she was out here, you know, <laughs> dry heaving or, or ch chucking yeah, them all out. Yeah. I think it's because it's a bit of a, of a relief, maybe. There's a possibility mm -hmm. that maybe she's realizing that it's real now. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's up and being prepared. It's like one of those moments, like, if you're about to be a parent and you have this one mindset while every while the baby's still in and then mm -hmm. the minute the baby's born it's like oh now it's really real mm -hmm. i am this thing now mm -hmm. and maybe she was having that that anxious kind of throw up or whatever i oh, don't know I, def I definitely agree with that you know and a lot of athletes performers get sick prior to mm -hmm. performing because of the nerves and anxiety and then i think it's one of those things where you are so your adrenaline mm -hmm. when you're in it mm -hmm. is so intense that afterwards when you're decompressing yeah. it just it comes out that way. It's mm -hmm. like a physical reaction to the amount of stress that you're under. Yeah. And then sometimes your body knows that you can't necessarily deal with it in the moment. Yeah. But the minute it's calm for a second, yeah. here it comes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. All right. So let's 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 get some closing thoughts regarding uh, either this episode and or this season. Just tell me how you feel. Well, I love. Okay. So overall, I absolutely adored it. That's just point blank. Period. I think there was like two or three episodes that were absolutely brilliant in terms of writing and cinematography mm -hmm. and you know all things uh related to production yeah. i also think that the clocks and the every second count mm -hmm. uh th through line mm -hmm. uh, of every single episode was super dope and i'm sure that it goes more in depth than i even realized mm. and that part is fascinating to me because like i said like one time it was 7-eleven i was like oh this means the luck is coming or the luck is running out what are the other i'm like you know what i mean so i mean right. i know that there's more to it than i even know and i think that I, that, that makes me very excited because mm -hmm. i'm like i don't even know what that means but i bet it's something dope <laughs> so i'm very excited about what's to come i'm hopeful for season three i would definitely watch a season three yeah. i think carmy is leaving which makes me very sad Sad. I don't know what that's gonna look like. Yeah. I got all the feels. Yeah. And I, I Chef's kiss. Yeah. Yeah. I very rarely give out like perfect scores for a series. Mm -hmm. I'm living the world of eights and nines because it's very mm -hmm. difficult for anything to 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 get a ten. Very few things. Like the wire is is a ten out of ten. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through all my tens. <laughs> um but but there's very few, right? This series is a ten out of ten for me. Nice. Um I think in every in every element in story and acting telling a good story making you feel good mm -hmm. making you feel things you know um it's it's almost flawless i'm giving it a flawless score there's very 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 small little quirks that that may come in and who knows a lot of those quirks may be uh, answered in in the next season if there mm. is a season three mm. i can i can wholeheartedly say if there is not a season three i am still completely Absolutely, completely satisfied because I like the conversation pieces that the, that the small little holes that it's left mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of the season. I think I think that's great. This mm -hmm. is really thought provoking. Mm -hmm. uh, I am such a huge fan of the uh, of of the actors and actresses that that piece this together. Uh, so much so that I'm checking for him and other things. I just heard uh, the guy that's playing Richie. He's potentially cast in the next. Uh, Fantastic Four movie. Uh, mm. I'm seeing the actress that plays Sydney. I, I just got that she was the voice of April O'Neil in the Ninja Turtles. She's in like three other different projects. She was that in I just got Shrinking. She was in another movie we right. watched. Uh, oh, she was in Abbott Elementary. Yes. Uh, she's been in a lot of things. Yes, yeah. Abbott Elementary we just yeah. saw her in. Yeah. The surprised amount of talent that came from the guy that played Neil Fack because uh, he's, a, he's a real chef mm. and mm. then he came and showed up and had some chops. 
the surprise, uh, the surprising acting talent, uh, Robert Townsend coming in, and of course, I, you, we certainly cannot leave out Jamie Lee Curtis, who absolutely kills and destroys. You know, just it, the, the talent. I can go on, and I know I'm leaving some people out, but it it was just uh, an embarrassment of riches. Yeah. You yeah. know, good story and good acting. It just. And the award goes to yeah, like it it should sweep up in in some award shows. I wish more people were watching it. Unfortunately, not as many people in my echo chamber in my group are watching it as much as as much as it deserves mm. uh, to be watched. Mm. Uh, let us know uh, what you think regarding this episode and of course uh, the season as a whole. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. I see you got a round. Oh no, I'm thought? just excited. Yeah, I, I just think it's a beautiful show, and it just I don't know. I I'm sad to see it end. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm glad I watched it and got to enjoy it. With Absolutely. You. And with you. Yes, that's the best thing. <laughs> You all have been absolutely fantastic. Just a joy to read the comments. Thank you all so much. If you do want to see it uh, live and uncut, well, maybe not live, but uh, uncut, we do have a Patreon where you can see this uh, side by side with your television at home, and then you will get a, a screen of our reaction because we have to maintain copyright restrictions. You know, we can't play both of them at the same time. Trying to get us sued. Well, anyways, on our Patreon, you can check that out. It's tons of fun. We're gonna have a total, a whole bunch of additional content to go along with it. If you want to get to know this beautiful lady a little bit better, soon to be again on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Link in description. Follow along. Subscribe. Tons of fun. Oh, hey, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscription button, of course. Give us that thumbs up, because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. All right, so, hey, catch you on the next project. Peace.